Pode ver. Hello, 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 everybody. Hello, everyone. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. For this even evening, we are live. I'm sorry for my music. No problem. They Just don't hear it. They don't hear it. <laughs> That's so why I love frequency. those mics. So this is the frequency. This is just. It's. I think it's more about being close. Okay. Just look okay. Right. I will I be. Speak like this, it's hard to I don't even up. hear you. That's true. Yeah. I'm trying to pause this. The internet connection is good, so I believe it will come through. We're just working on a story, guys. So. Yeah. Give us a time, please. I see that we already have in the chat. Uh, Ludmila <laughs> and Dadli Fratik. Is that your friend? Could be your friend. Maybe. Uh, I'm, I posted it okay. already. Uh, I'm going to share it so that more people can come. Yeah. I send you a link to my Discord as well. So you can to your Discord? Yes. I will I will uh, repost it with the Discord all the way also. Sweet. So nice. The, po the story is posted. Everything is prepared. Very good. Can you see the chat? Yeah. Oh, sorry. No worries. Just sorry, get comfortable. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. yeah. We also have SDX555. He's our newest member. Hi, SDX555. Oh, I'm playing uh, something. Or is that you? No. Maybe you've got it on the computer? Maybe. Could be. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> See, always these things. So, and you've got um, the rule here that it was the... the Quite possibly. Do you hear it still? No. No. Okay. It was just the bass. I felt the bass. So, maybe this. And I, I've heard the rumor that you've got, when we have an English comment, we uh, answer it in English. And we, if we have a Slovak comment, we answer it in Slovak language. Exactly. Or any type of language that we, <laughs> that we might have. I believe not so. And we also have a new rule as well, that cursing is allowed in the podcast. Okay. But only in Slovak. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> why you are preparing a new merch. And I know. What is there? Yeah, and, and we will talk about that. But before we get started, uh, guys, we're starting to get organized. So first of all, I need to thank the people that are supporting me, right? Let's do so, it. So I'm going to mention the my members, and I'm going to thank them as well. So first of all, let me thank my C1 English member, Adams Art. So thank you for being subscribed. That's a $19.99 per month. Subscription. 1999, that is C1. And do you have a C2? No, not yet. <laughs> that, not yet. It will be like 200? <laughs> I hope not. But it, it should include something nice, right? Then the level A2, Argy. Thank you for your subscription. And now to thank all of my beloved A1 English beginners. Me cool. Slovensky Demizon. <laughs> Latsy Gaming 2. Memdev. Slavsky Lorant, Ludmila C, Sinister, and SDX555. So Thank you. Thank you guys for supporting me and being members of the channel. Next reminder is to the fact that a lot of you guys are coming to the podcast and watching it, enjoying it, loving it, writing me messages, following me everywhere, but you're not subscribing on YouTube. I've heard... Miguel told me that 80% of you is not subscribed. I did it. I subscribed this channel, so do it also. Because it is good. I know your algorithm will um, will uh, support this and promote this podcast to you if you watch them. But to be subscribed, you are uh, giving some feedback to Miguel. So yeah. do it, please. Yeah, guys, I would thank you if you just subscribe. It's one click, and it helps us a lot to grow. We hit a landmark today, though. 3,500 subscribers. That's so sweet. thank you to the ones that did subscribe. Two weeks ago, you have got 2,000 and something. So it's rocket sky. It's definitely going really fast. Growing. And I think the first milestone is going to be at 
5,000. I remember when a milestone was 100, when we were like, oh, I hope Starting. I get to 100. Yeah. <laughs> then it was 1,000. Big boost was Duklok. Duklok. Uh, continued to be. He's still quite still a Still growing. Still, his episode has hit f- almost 52,000 views. Yeah, I, I've seen. I made the research on you. Oh, thank you. So <laughs> we'll see how, how your research was. <laughs> As we always start here in something po anglitsky, for those that don't know you, could you please tell us who the hell you are? Who the hell I am and why the hell I am here? <laughs> That's the good <laughs> question I'm asking even myself. <laughs> But uh, I, I get it that Miguel has no one else to offer you. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Actually... You should be honored because you are a bonus episode. Yeah, that's me. Which means that, the, uh, guys, actually, you should be honored, <laughs> guys watching us, because you're getting two episodes in one week. And that's something. Oh, last Lansky. week, last week, <laughs> nothing there. Now two episodes in one week of something fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we got to make up. <laughs> yeah, uh, who the hell I am and why the hell I'm here. I am Patrick Cepela. That's my name. And I'm a content creator. So many people will define me as a video maker because that's how I define myself. But I would say that that is not only thing that I do. I do also photos. So I'm a, I'm a photographer. I do some graphic designs. And also I, uh, I, I draw uh, websites from the UX and UI design. So It's, you're uh, quite a Swiss army knife of content. Yeah, I would say that I'm one army uh, of a freelancer that will help you with everything that you need from the brand identity, codes, design, logo, uh, social media, and just purely everything in one globe. One so once I get to, to at least maybe 40,000, maybe I'll be able to afford you. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> to overhaul this. But, but I've been doing some work. I don't know if you noticed that I fixed my uh, thumbnails yes i know and you've got also a new logo you know this then that not even no but i've got something for you right now what is it and the first thing is that i have to uh, show it on myself <laughs> it <laughs> sounds very weird that but sounds don't, really weird. don't be afraid please let's not get this demonetized <laughs> no no no, no. <laughs> what is he gonna show us guy wow what is this Wow. And uh, I don't know where I can put you, this. You can put it. Uh, wow, because I'm a good look, guy. This is an size M for you. Wow. Brand how, new. How did you know that I'm M? <laughs> look, guys. Because I, I saw you and I've got something even for you, Chet. What? Something for the and chat. Is one piece. Wow. In size L, so girls can have the bigger one and the guys can fit with the muscles inside. Wow, that, so is, that is fantastic. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. So I prepared on you, I you, said. You will have to sign it. <laughs> I don't have to sign it, but we can make some, uh, you know, make it as a prize. We will, that's why you have to sign it. So we will <laughs> both sign it. Or maybe put inside some card or... Can be. Yeah. Can be. So guys, if you're watching the episode... This is how you win this t-shirt. You make sure that you write me on Instagram, but guys, make sure that you follow me because if you don't, your message doesn't end up in the re- garbage. So make sure that you, you follow me so I actually see the message. Make sure that you follow. I have something What even your- better maybe What? because it should be for the people that are already here and we can oh. do it as uh, we post a photo because you post every time the photo and it will be the comment Because the, the only people here idea. will comment it. So not the people We can after. actually do it, do it during the, the yeah, stream. Yeah, during, yeah. And after the, the whole, podca- whole podcast, This we will awesome. just... This is awesome, thank you. No problem. And now, take it and go to put it on. Please. I'm gonna do that. So actually, let's you can, take, you let's can take, take it picture? with you yeah. and just put it somewhere. Uh, guys, we're gonna take the picture now. And, no, uh, take the tea. Uh, yeah, go yeah, to yeah, take right. the T. Which one is the M? M. Yes. M is for you. And but if you want L, just no, no, no. I, l- I like M. Headset. You're very wow. Nice. You can check the comments. Well. Yes, I will. I will. Oh, God Gaming Girl. Hi. <laughs> It's sweet to have you here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> Uh, give me a second, please. Yeah, thanks. 
Uh, so we will compete for the T-shirt uh, during the stream on the photo that will uh, Miguel post on something for Anglitsky Instagram. So be ready and uh, go for it because it's a good piece. I give myself a time to prepare it with uh, Dennis. Dennis, thank you very much for your time. How does it look? Very good. Fit it good. Thank you so much. And it is not very... Uh, I, I was afraid that it will not come straight because I had it in backpack full of things. So I, I looked Perfect. like I'm a sk skydiver with a parachute. The backpack that I brought here today because I was uh, in school before this. Oh. And now I was... Uh, with guys. We, we can talk about today. Uh, it was a nice day. But I, I went uh, at six in the morning out, come now here. And whole day I, I brought with me like... 10 kilograms backpack. It was so heavy, and I looked like a uh, skydiver. That's true. <laughs> You're a skydiver. But this is by far the most excellent present I've gotten on the podcast, so thank you, sir. Really, Glad to be here. Really surprised and happy. Is th stuff like this makes me happy. I, I thought... <laughs> 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 I, I, I already... Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. So I've seen that you've got a new logo... No merge on you. Merge is, uh, is being prepared, but not ready. No, so actually, I will invite you to, the, to my Discord now. Okay. And there you will see that we have a very talented person called Cynthia. Okay. She designed some emotes Okay. Uh, based on my cat and okay. bird. So I want to make T-shirts with them and the Don't Be Pichu's T-shirt <laughs> and this. So let's make the picture so that people yeah. can, can have a chance to... To win the to prize. Win the prize. To win the competition. Let's make the logo visible. Get closer. I don't smell. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> beautiful. 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 So beautiful. Is it good? Show me, please, because... Here you go. Looks good, no? One more. One more. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> we, ha we have to have so the beautiful So, actually, you, you take it. Yeah, from the That'll bad angle. The Thank you very much. That's my good side. It's nice, but you have to take it. This is my better side, and you're also... Take it from that angle. Everyone has that angle. There? Yeah. This is beautiful picture. This is nice. Do you like this it? This is sweet. Yeah. Okay. So post it. Could you continue monitoring the chat while I post the picture? Yeah, I can. <clears throat> I can, I can. So, um, Golf Gamer Girl, hi. Uh, we knew each other, e all even with Miguel. So, hello, welcome here. Uh, thank you, <laughs> thank you, Los. Yes, of uh, things that are important for life, not what you wrote there. And there is a uh, Ludmila C. That would be your moderator, and also the person from Discord, probably that would make your. I have the same, <clears throat> the same mods on YouTube, Discord, and uh, Twitch. Okay, can be, can be. That's nice. It is nice. I, so uh, there was a question there. Did you see what Deadly Fratitz? Deadly Fratic? Probably. We are not friends, but Patrick is working in my favorite area, so I'm here for it. Nice. So you probably are in some photography, videography, or something. Please write it there. Make some questions. We can answer all of it. Yeah, and I think this, this is going to be a good podcast for people that are interested in, in what you do. We have actually a lot of people that take photographs yeah. and that are into streaming and all these things. So I think it's going to be a great uh, yeah. chance for you guys to ask questions. And today, even um, all of these things are more possible to do because uh, we have phones with good cameras. We have PCs with uh, better access to everything, internet connection and things. Because uh, when I started, I was it was like six years ago, and it was like big no-no. No one did really? it. It was no era of Instagram. It was no era of TikTok and, uh, I don't know, CapCut and the applications that will help you, the Huji and Lightroom Mobile. And those apps, when you have it, it will help you a lot. You know, these days it's so easy to do things on your phone and iPads and uh, MacBooks. It's so easy. And you have you have access to a lot of good equipment. Yeah, I have. Of, I have. So it could be also a topic now and like what we do and what what we use because 
Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, it is not always about the equipment. It is also about skill and lightning and all of the things. And so many people like don't understand this or don't even care because it is not to have a 6,000 uh, euros camera. It is about having a good content and to uh, have something to do with it. You know, you can have all the money in the world, but it will not buy you anything. I can. Uh, you can have the best studio here. And <laughs> the studio is awesome. <laughs> this is like a dream of every young, every young guy, girl, whoever, who wanted to be a gamer. This is the dream. What I wanted to buy when I was young. But I don't want to I, shift I too, too far away from the topic because yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, while I was still working in marketing, one of the things that, that we started to do as a brand when I was still working in a computer company mm -hmm. is that we started to get away from professional video. Okay. And we kind of shifted to a, to an approach of video that looked more like it was done with a phone or mm -hmm. because that resonates better with people. Yeah. So how do you combat that new mentality? Mm, it's a very good question because you are right. So many people uh, feel more connect with it when it is like um, everyday vlogs are made on phones, no big gears and anything. It is it is like be real the application that will just post the notification i hate it i hate it i i don't have it for this i don't have it i cannot stand it because i don't want to share my messy desktop <laughs> desktop settings and everything and you know you think that's a problem it always gets to me when i'm in the worst situations <laughs> so i'm taking a shit and then <laughs> like, be real it's be real miguel <laughs> post it do it post my hope no look at it <laughs> No, you're like okay. I will do it. I will do it. <laughs> It's always in the worst situations. Yeah, can be. I didn't do it for these reasons, and also I don't want to be um, uh, demonized and shot from every angle. I've got Instagram, Facebook, and all of these applications that will, you know, do a machine gun on you with notifications. And be real is something different. I actually recently I had to turn off notifications for my phone and watch. Mm -hmm. I bought a, a Apple Watch Ultra. It's supposed to have two days of battery. Okay. It would last me half a day. What? Because of the notifications. constant notifications. and I said, that's a machine gun of notifications <laughs> popping from everywhere. It's addicting though. Yeah. You like it. This, the I love it. Michal told... Oh, notifications. <laughs> 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 But this is topic for uh, Michal Noga that was here, the CEO of MedMonk, and he says, uh, or he said about dopamine spikes and everything, and this is it. This is it. And so I, I can feel it in myself that I, I crave the notifications. I don't yeah. hear it, so I, I have to be checking the phone. And, yeah. And yeah. Just it makes you nervous. Like, what happened? <gasps> notifications. And I somehow disconnect my watches uh, from the phone. I don't know why and what happened. But it, today, today, it doesn't pop the notifications and I'm a different person. <laughs> Are you feeling better? Yeah, so free. I always tell the story of this one guy that I met. Um, he works at M-Zone. Mm-hmm. And he was like, oh, let's take a picture. And then we're like, okay, I will tag you on Instagram. And he said, I don't have any social medias. Wow. That man looked like the happiest man in the history of the world. Can be, but it is also the way of possibilities. It's, you know, it's, uh, you cannot be uh, in a bad position using uh, some social media. It, I think that I if you uh, are able to put it in some, position in your life when you want them to be the master of them not they master of you i think that is the old japanese saying then you you can be in a good very good path with this it will help you a lot even with filters photos and everything the, the notification the connection with the world is there in your phone That's why it's the dopamine spikes and things like this and it's also to some degree i always think it's it's really fake Because I see a lot of people, especially now th doing this mm -hmm. as a as a hobby, I meet a lot of people. I looked at their Instagram or whatever post, and then I meet them in mm -hmm. in real life. Mm -hmm. It's nothing like that. Yeah, that's uh, that's the untold truth of the people. So many filters, so many things that they do. Um, also, like I was recently invited to to an event. And you can see there that you know it's all about living for the for the camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are switching. A lot of these Instagram big big names are switching this camera. Oop. 
different person. And uh, it's a little bit scary for me because I like camera and I like this. Even I'm nervous now because it is uh, stepping out of the comfort zone. Really? This this makes you nervous? This doesn't, but the English. Uh-huh. You know, it is something that I'm not native. I just like it. And uh, it's stepping out of comfort zone because stream is something. To be in front of camera is something. To talk to someone is something. For even a lot of people who will, will not ever do this. Mm-hmm. And even English, it's... This podcast is a killer combination because you have a... It's live, first of yeah. all. <laughs> and it's English. Yeah. But I think that you will walk away feeling well after that. I already feel well because I'm glad to be here. That's the first thing. This studio is so small That's that I have to said. mention... <laughs> <laughs> I have <laughs> mentioned uh, this studio is really small. Everyone who says this in podcast, I can confirm it is small. It's like <laughs> I'm 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 a small guy. I'm a short guy. <laughs> Me too. And I can <laughs> literally uh, feel the wall on my hand. It's small. But at least in the in the live stream, it looks huge. Yeah, it's it is good camera. It is, I think, some kind of a fisheye or or wider yeah. angle. It's actually a a stick-on lens because this camera doesn't have detachable. Lenses. Oh, oh, it's built in. No, I actually had to sep- buy it separately and stick it on the lens. And it will never go off. It will if you pull it off. Like, and hard. can you put different lens on? I don't think that they sell more because it's not even uh-huh, made by Sony. Uh-huh, it's made by uh-huh. some. Chinese company, but the uh, outcome f- is good. Yeah, for my purposes, but, but it looks amazing and it is nice. And I have to say, hey, Petrana Samulova, hi, this is Miguel, and you have to care about this merch. Oh, oh she's watching. She is watching. Who? She's there. Peťka. Oh, there we go. Petka, our Petka. Petka, look, we already have the first merch. Look at that. But did did you notice what change I made to the logo? Yeah, you put the Czech Republic on it. Exactly. So I decided to notice that a huge amount of people are watching from the Czech Republic as well. Like Goth Gamer Girl. Hi. She's watching from, from Prague. Again. We are here again. <laughs> <laughs> Third time to say her hello. It's nice. And I, I actually from... That's going to allow for growth, I think, Czech Republic. Because yeah. Slovakia has a cap. Yes, and the uh, Czech Republic is... For you, a new opportunity, even, and I seen your post that you you put there. The New Zealand and America is watching this podcast, so you infiltrated in those Slovak groups there. That's right. Leave it up to Latinos to infiltrate into different countries. Yeah, yeah, it is. There is a interest also. I have a lot of of Czech um, okay. content creators that that would come on. Mm-hmm. But they're in the Czech Republic, so I have to wait for for an opportunity for them to be here because yeah. it's not easy. I was thinking that maybe um, I will collab with maybe Mad Monk and ask them to use their studio in Prague. Okay, I've heard that. We, we, you talked about it. Because they have offered me to go there to Prague. It will be the first something from Litsky in Czech Republic or in the different studio even. Yeah, and I know there's been a little birdie told me that There might even be a possibility that the Something Po Anglitsky podcast might be elsewhere as well. Okay. Okay, a little dirty. <laughs> Thank you for it. <laughs> Because this is very good concept. And I, I take it as I, I, I feel that I understand the, the topic behind, the idea behind. Because this is not about even talking to people, but this is even about learning and trying to uh, show the nice side of English to people. There's a couple of things actually stacked there and i actually haven't had the chance to really discuss the topic of oh, we can. W- what is something po anglitsky uh, yeah i think that thank you it's a good good chance to bring it up um the first reason that we have something po anglitsky is of course society is becoming more and more how do i put it in a in a good way people are becoming less tolerant okay. of what is not theirs what is foreign, right? Mm-hmm. And I think that in Slovakia, we had some situations where uh, some polls where Slovakia, you know, didn't rank that well with tolerance and, and things like this. Mm-hmm. So I think with something po Anglitsky, first of all, I want kids because kids probably have the worst English because a yeah. lot of them 
just really don't care. Yeah. And I want them to see that they're, I guess, celebrities or they're the people that they know. Yeah. They speak a foreign language. Yeah. Can I? Yeah. Can I now say what I think about yes, this? Is the idea step behind? Step in. At any I time. have to because I un- I think that I understand it mm-hmm. because you are also a teacher mm-hmm. and you do also your classes in Discord and these things. I actually I I can announce it now. It's official. Yeah. I've been asked uh, to return to the airport because I used to teach air traffic controllers English. Okay. So I, I didn't know. I did it for four years. It, I don't advertise it a lot. Okay. But And now they, during the Matovic government, all the lessons were canceled. Okay. I don't understand. But now they brought them back so I can go back and teach those air traffic controllers. That's sweet. That's sweet. That's nice. So you are a teacher, English teacher, and you want to acknowledge all of this. The, and you want to show to young people, to certain people, to people... I think that 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 then they don't have to be certain. That can be all of the ages, all of the you know target groups, and you want to show them that English is fun. That everyone speaks English in these days, and even their favorite YouTubers, their in- internet persons, are speaking English. And even that they are bad and and they are not the perfect ones as the films and TV series and um, foreign uh, creators shows. That we are people and we are just trying to be the best. And even the en- English is active and passive. So I can be awesome in reading and, and listening and these things. But talking is a level up. Yeah. It's, that's even different and harder for me even. I'm still nervous. You know, this is... Uh, so it's hard. And you are trying to show that it is not too hard to step out of comfort zone, to speak to people, to talk, to to be yourself. And also, like like you're saying, that you're nervous. Every guest is nervous. Yeah, they I, admit, I get it. They admit it openly. But for me, that's the beauty of it because it it tells the people watching that anybody, everybody can be nervous, and it's okay. But yeah, that's just uh, once you start talking, you forget about that. That's why I'm saying it because it's good to speak about things that you feel. And or you think, and if I think that this is you know something not for me, I would say it, and it will be uh, easier for me to get through. Exactly. So it's just uh, some psychological game here. And we yeah. have uh, Nati joining. Hi, Nati. Nati is my main mod in Discord. Nati, hello, hello. I'm trying to uh, reach for this community also. She's the one helping me uh, to do a lot of things. Because I'm completely dumb. I mean, you are correct in. T- Breathing is pretty different, but having conversation with native speaker is a little different. Hi, Patrick. A bit. Ah, a bit different. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, the thing I think with native speakers is that they don't judge you. Yeah. And you also said you've got this button here. Yeah. And you are changing if you speak to native and if you speak to people like us. And what is button good for? A uh, button is if there's a topic that you don't want to discuss. Oh. And then you just press it. You can try it. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> And then we move on to a different nice, discussion. Nice thing. It's the easy button. <laughs> so that's the that's the first pillar of of something Poanglitsky. The second one is actually in the benefit of the influencers, right? As we move a lot of the people that I've interviewed, I think they've realized that they're sort of getting close to outgrowing this part of the world, right? And if they yeah. want to continue growth and they want to reach a new audience, they have to get comfortable with English. So one way that we do it is that we present them to English speakers. Mm-hmm. Um, in my time living in Slovakia, I think the most complicated thing or the thing that I struggle with the most is that it's really difficult to integrate. Mm-hmm. There are no social programs, so there's very little way for somebody who doesn't know stuff about Slovakia to get involved with Slovakia, right? Mm-hmm. So I think that this way foreign people can look at who is influenced society because... At the end of the day, you know, you with Goldmerge, uh, Duklok, Evgen, Selassie, Papa Peter, they're shaping the young people. Yeah. Those people watching, it's not traditional TV anymore, you know. Everything shifted to YouTube, so that's the other thing. Introducing them to a new audience and then probably the maybe why this concept is so good is the fact that people know these people. 
But when you speak English, you're a different person with a different voice. <laughs> That's something that I found out that people uh, sound different in other languages also. And their personality changes. Yeah, can be. Can be. I see that we have Lou in the chat. And then Lou, Erko, hi. welcome. Adria. Ooh, a lot of new people, guys. Thank you for subscribing. It's, it's Dan, Erko, Dan Erko is a graffiti writer from our town. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's, he's nice. Did he see the Doc TV episode? I Check it know. out, Dan Erko. And there's a comment there for But you hi, from Dan Nati. Er. Ciao. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Oh, uh, in multicultural society. You can read it. Uh, in multicultural society, it's difficult to integrate and adapt. That's why Slovaks should be more respectful uh, re- respectful to others. Yeah, Nati, I think that you you make a good comment, but I think to me it's less about respect, but it's more about um, maybe having some Slovak courses for foreigners to join because at the moment now there's a couple that are offered and they're always full if you want to learn Slovak from mm-hmm. from IOM, I think, offers them. There's no opportunity to talk to the mayor, for example, in English or for you to, to get to meet people in government or... Only during election. Yeah, and this is even harder for you because you are creating the specific certain point of the of what you are giving. You are giving an English podcast with good influencers of Slovak, you know, uh, whatever this culture is of, I mean, influencers. And you are giving them the possibility to speak, to, to be different and to show it to, to people that it is easy to be this and not to be afraid. And it is nice because, as you said, these days all of the films from um, from foreign countries that come here, America and everything, has dubbing mm-hmm. or has subtitles. So it is easier for younger generation to watch anything they want. I don't think that this was um, this spread when we were younger. So I, when I wanted to see something, I had to wait for the dubbing or watch it in television. These days is everything is possible, you know. You've got Netflix on your phone and you can just watch whatever you want, even with subtitles, so it is easy. You don't have to understand. But it is good to understand. We live in a time where there is no excuse for being ignorant. Yeah. Where you have Google at the tip of your hands. <laughs> yeah. My mother's brother told me once he's the doctor, so nice. Uh now I want to say uh hi. And he told me that it the the English is the new future and also the German you know that those two languages are must have yeah. even uh, other languages like spanish is good and also papa peter papa peter i'm sorry for one more p either he likes p so <laughs> <laughs> yeah and uh he knows a lot of languages he's i don't know what he is but he knows he he speaks spanish well though sometimes when he doesn't go back to latin america he forgets <laughs> so i try to to make him practice yeah but yeah Languages open a lot of doors and that's what I try to tell a lot of young people. I've seen it with my own eyes that people that don't go to university, normally they would be relegated to working at Potravini or Tesco or I don't know, in some Kirchma. <laughs> You're But <laughs> learning, fast learner I'm here. I'm a big fan of Kirchma. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys at the Kirchma. <laughs> But what I was nice. trying to, to get to is that With English, they can really get into a corporation at an entry-level job. And I know people. Personally, I know the story of a DJ okay. who, who started to work in one of these big companies and now he's a very high-level executive with no okay. university education other than DJing. So from DJ to high executive, whatever. And what did it? Of course, you need to have some skills, but you develop those skills, but it's language. There's two comments there for you. We have several. Yeah, I can go through. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have several m- minorities, but these minorities cannot adapt because they are from different country. They have different traditions and many Slovaks are mean. Can be. That's hard topic. A, it's better a, it's for you. It's a very insightful comment. And yeah, that's the thing that I think that the integration is lacking. Because, for example, if you when I was living in Barcelona... Mm-hmm. In Spain, they don't speak Spanish, they speak Catalan. But the integration programs are so great that you can go study it. You can learn in Catalan. You can do so many things, even as an immigrant. Okay. You can go and do these things. So you've got possibilities if you want. And at the end, it works better because 
you know, once you bring these people in, um, it, it's much easier for them to feel something for the place that they're in, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, what's let's see what the hard other topics. Come. This is very deep, man. The, <laughs> the, the chat is they're very intelligent. But the question is, if Nati is well, from one of these groups, if she wants to speak about this, Nati, no, 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 Nati is not from from one of these groups. But so she, she just curious. Uh, speak okay. a lot about languages. Yeah, what a surprise! Who is here? <laughs> I have a question. Oh, question yeah. for you. <laughs> yeah, I I see that's Adrianis. Uh, we had the Raymond. Raymond was our. Uh, classmate in uh, high school <laughs> and he was so nice <laughs> he was overhyped and i say hi to raymond if he sees this he is uh, studying l- he will be a lawyer one day he's a bachelor of lawyer he he's he's nice Adio, you are right he's asking though if you what your wedding cameraman radko yeah those are people from our town They're, those are my friends from younger ages <laughs> and even now uh surprise who is here I'm here. Hi. But do you do those events? Yeah. You do weddings? Mm-hmm. But I have uh, special outcomes. My product is very, very special and rare, and uh, I don't think that uh, the market is not ready for it now. So tell us about it, because uh, you piqued my interest. Yeah. Uh, I think we have still the tradition of weddings here in Slovakia. It means... Uh, all of the traditions have to be like odobierka. It's when you came to your parents to ask for permission to take your their daughter to be your uh, wife. What do you think of, of that tradition, actually? It's nice. I love it. Yeah. it. I love it. I love to be there. It's uh, always, it's uh, tears coming out and it is so emotional. I love this. If it is done good, if the people are really prepared, are prepared for this, And I love this, the tradition one, uh, they always have uh, some people, uh, I, I don't know how to say this, they, on some weddings there are, mm, I, I don't know how to say, it. that's a man, he's like a promoter, he, he like go, the, like the MC, like the master of ceremonies? Yes, he he's always there and he manage everything and he speaks facts and he's funny and we have one he's a euro and he's awesome but i don't know how to say it now i i say it's probably master of ceremony can be can be i wanted to give the english word but i don't i don't know so uh, go for the product uh what i do because we have still the conservative traditions here a lot of people wants to our videos like a whole a whole uh, wedding ceremony will be there on the tape but who would watch that that's the first thing what i'm trying to do that who would watch that that's why i do clips those are little films short films like 20 30 or 40 minutes how we just manage it and i do like mostly 30 minutes to music they want and they love it's like their music i don't know who uh, let the dogs out <laughs> who and who <they're> who who <laughs> <laughs> who let the dogs out but i'm sure you could do it yeah. i'm sure you could you yeah. can manage it somehow. i've heard kabat that's a yeah they've got <laughs> kabat as their first wedding song oh there. my god oh just whatever them two. floats your boat right yeah them two on the park it there in the middle of now nothing only the kabat sound sound do, 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 do. and they're like I can love you, you imagine if they ask you for something like uh i don't know or she oh or uh Orkija Slije. Orkija Slije, for example. I've had it one. Hori, te mašta. Hori, 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 hori. Yeah, it is normal. It is really normal. But uh, to say it like this, uh, I do short films to their music, how they want it, and I catch the best scenarios, the best moments, the most beautiful emotions. I do some drone shots and, you know. Drones? Drone shot. What is yeah. that? Explain to me because a drone? I'm, oh, I th- drone. Z- flying camera. Inside? No, inside. Outside. Okay. Like building and to to prepare the people that this is my house and the shot from, you know, top of the sky. I just want to feel them like it is a, a movie of their own wedding. So it is like 30 minutes and with the best uh emotions and the best uh points. They find everyone, uh, everyone and everything there. It's short, it's beautiful, with the best music. DJ Khaled. <laughs> Is it true that during this tradition when they go ask for the for the hand of the I guess I'm the sorry, bride? Can I one more? Yeah, of course. 
Uh, one more. Uh, I didn't uh, uh, the question. get it. If it's true that the tradition of when they go to the house to ask for the bride, mm-hmm. that sometimes a man dresses as a, as the girl? Uh, I've seen some videos, but I've never experienced, experienced this. It. Never. I probably have only uh, nudnich ludzi. <laughs> well, with kabat as the sound, I don't know if yeah, it's... Yeah, yeah. And also para... It's a nice Slovens- Slovenska kapela, para. But we like para, actually. Yeah, so, Nati, nice. sorry, guys. I'm Slovak, but I see those problems. I have friends who belong to Roma population. I heard so a lot of bad things. That's why I know some things. So, hopefully, it's in the hands of young people. I always look forward to young people changing things. I I'm met so, a very... <laughs> I, I just read the, the comment under. Please, next time, invite more entry. <laughs> <laughs> It's a friend. I was uh sorry in, Philip. In Osblok we were before this and we had lime uh, a lime drink, you know. Today? Today right oh, before with you Philip. You should have invited him. <laughs> That's why he's <laughs> so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Big supporter of yours, I think. <laughs> yeah. But look, <laughs> Nati was defending you. Uh what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. Hey Mate, hold up. Nice Nati. Thank you, Nati. You are you are a real one. Who is that uh, arch enemy? Oh, on, on wedding travel. Well, arch enemy. We know you are into metal. <laughs> Met- metal. Metal. M- what is the expression in English? Met- metal? Me- metal? Metal. Metal. Metal head. Metal. metal? Head. Like you want the metal? Something like that. <laughs> I would Wasn't want, maybe if I had to have a band, it would be Elan. Yeah. That, that's what I would like for my wedding. Before we continue, <laughs> we have to remind people that... Uh, yeah. There is a picture on Instagram on my account. Something po anglitski. No, that's not the right picture. Uh, if you want a chance to win a limited edition something po anglitski t-shirt that we got today, yeah. make sure that you go and comment. Nobody commented yet. They don't know about it. And this is why we did it. Or maybe you did not post it. I did. But, but uh, this is why we did it. Miguel post our picture on the Instagram, and if you comment it, you have the possibility to win this prize of the merch in size M because we are trying to have only people that are real, that are the... The OGs. OGs, the mountains of the stream, the real subscribers, the people that decide that this is what they want to do in this evening. Look at that, guys. Look at that. You have a chance to win one of these. These I'm not making these, by the way. I know. The logo. I know. They're only going to have the tiny logo here and then they will have just... I get it, but I wanted you to have something that you no, can... No, I love it. I know. I absolutely I know. love it. I would love it also if it's my uh, brand. If I had money, I would buy to give all my guests. I will already joined. Very nice. And you would be probably the only one. So <laughs> it will come to you. And at the end of this stream, we can uh, have some uh, program to catch the winner, to find the winner. For us, because we don't want to swipe it with our fingers, we want to be uh, the real. We can deal. read. We can read and and choose like who did the best. There's already actually one comment I lied. Oh, there's more comments now. Okay, we're not gonna read. Because so now. you uh, messed with us. You were not right. You did not tell the truth. Why? Because uh, you told that there are no comments. Uh, yeah, I lied. But then nice. I guess it didn't refresh. I don't know uh-huh. why. My, mm-hmm. This is the problem. I don't know why my nose is so itchy I've, during every episode. It looks like I was doing cox every time. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Because my nose is so itchy <laughs> every time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, and nose candy. Like Ember Heard. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, this is the nicest content to watch with <laughs> taking a bath. <laughs> <laughs> Philip, stop. Stop this. It's weird. It's getting more weird. Philip, Philip is taking... He's having a really good time, I have Probably. to say. <laughs> But I understand to um, hear those two beautiful voices that are coming out of your device that is put somewhere not to fall into the bath. Speak for yourself. I sound like a retard. <laughs> <laughs> don't be silly. And don't be so... Um, you would never fall asleep with my voice. You'd probably be terrified. You know what? If you wanted to stay up at night, <laughs> you probably listen to me talking okay. for two hours. Like I would try. Ahoy. <laughs> 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 It's just creepy altogether. And I Let's, would, yeah. 
this. <laughs> think this. Some therapy. I need sleep. Let's take Stop. a step back, and I want to hear about your youth. So, where were you Ooh. born? And Whoa. oh, so deep. So, I was born in 1999. Yesterday was my 23rd birthday. Congratulations! Thank Happy birthday! Much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and I was born in Ilava. 25th of October. Very deep. Very deep. Ilava voice. is where? Uh, Ilava is a uh, town next to Dubnica nad Váhom, next to Nova Dubnica. Somebody wrote Dubnica Gaming. Very cool. To, ban- to Bobby videos? To, to, bab- to Bobby? Is that one of your friends? They have no, to I know, know you. I don't know. Maybe. Hello, Mr. Chepela. Hi. But I don't know this... Uh, it's got to be one of your this friends nickname. trolling you. This nickname, I don't know. Uh, so I was born in Ilava. I was a little uh, heavy baby for kill. <laughs> no, we are not going into this. Uh, so I uh, grew up in Nova Dubnica. It is really close. And everything was nice there. I loved it since today. I still live there. And, uh, and so, so actually, that's another thing that I want to thank you for because you drove. Yeah, to get to me. How how long did you drive? Uh, how long? I'm um, from a little bit of Trenčín, we can say. It's like uh, seven minutes from Trenčín. So it's one and a half hours. One and a half hours. But I've got it like in one row because I study in Trnava. I'm uh, on Vysoká škola. So on University in Trnava, Cyrila Metoda, I study marketing communication. And uh, yeah, I'm in fourth. Uh, You're almost done. I I I done the first part the the first degree uh, that is in Slovakia is a bachelor. So you're going for magister. Yeah, I'm going for magister. That's that's right. So I'm in the first class of magister. That's a big difference from your education system because for example, I have a BC, I have a bachelor's. Mm-hmm. But for us a bachelor's is a four year degree. Okay? Yeah, can be. And then if you want to go for a master's, it's six years, but as you know, it's expensive. Yeah. So you pay for your education there. I do. I, I had to pay for my university. I, I So you did uh, you get a student loan or something like that? I didn't get a loan. I actually worked and paid. Um mm-hmm. I was accepted to go to Brown University. Do you, have you ever heard of Brown? No. Brown Maybe yeah, but I, I would say no to you can explain it. Brown is an Ivy League school. Oh, okay. So it's one of the top in the world, right? Top tier. Yeah. But unfortunately I couldn't I actually had a scholarship but I couldn't afford the most basic thing, which was the boarding, okay. room and boarding. Just room and boarding was insane amount of money. Uh, can you say how much? To it's uh, How much figures it is? I think at that time, if I recall correctly, it was over 20,000 per year. Euros. Or no, what? Dollars. dollars. Dollar. It dollars. was over that. Yeah. Wow. It, it, was, it was insane. People. We've got a free education in you, Slovakia. Uh, that's Go for it. There's so many Why things not? that you guys have that are so good. and Those are uh, the benefits that we don't even uh, recognize somehow. We don't even get it and we don't want it. But it is okay to go there. It's no shame. Just go for it. Yeah. And and that was the thing that I couldn't afford to go. So, you know, a wise person told me that, you know, maybe in Brown you would do okay and you might even do well. Mm-hmm. But going to... Uh, State university, you will shine, they said, right? And maybe I would have better opportunities. So mm-hmm. I actually ended up going to something that is called community college. Okay. Which is like where all of the... American uh, Films has this. H- how do I put it in a nice way <laughs> for people? It's where all of the devils <laughs> go. Community colleges. The bills or the bills? The bills. B or <laughs> V there? B, B, B. The okay, <laughs> okay, Uh, because it's you don't have to apply to get in. Everybody can go there, right? So mm-hmm. I didn't have to pay, so I I okay. was I was okay. I I busted my my butt, and after two years, because there you earn something called an associate's degree after two years. Okay. Of of community college, and after those two years, I did so well, ended up top of my class that I had a full scholarship to go study at a university called CUNY Hunter. Okay. This was the honors program for history. I studied history. All okay. paid. Um, but of course, I still had to pay my cost and stuff. Like Still? From the day? No, no. I I worked and paid everything. Like I have okay. no... 
university that I worked at Starbucks back then. And you were a barist. I was, and I not anymore. I finished. Yeah, but you were a high top something. You you I taught was a, yeah, yeah, people. I, I was a normal normal barista, but I I was lucky enough to become the first uh, coffee master in Slovakia. A coffee master in Starbucks is the person wearing the black aprons, right? The big boss. I was in charge of coffee culture, beverage quality, and things like this. Okay. So I was so still a barista. Not, you did not do the coffee. You just check if it's okay. I everything. Could, okay. No, I was also making as well. I was all. It's um. You it's have an to explain it more pos- probably. Yeah, yeah. So it's an honorary position, right? It's not uh, pay related, and it's not management, for example. Okay. Well, usually it's a manager, but with me they made an exception as a barista. Okay. I was not supposed to be. So kind of manager. But still barista. Yeah. And basically what that meant is that uh, whenever there was a new coffee, for example, I would present it to the press. So people from magazines would come and I would present it. And it was it was great because I got to do it in English. Mm-hmm. So And they didn't complain. So I was happy. I had so many articles written. If you Google me, you will find a lot of stuff. Okay. Even I have an, even an article on Playboy magazine. Did you hear that? <laughs> Where? One more time, please. Playboy magazine <laughs> <laughs> about coffee. So, so yeah, it was, um, it was a great time, and I, and I miss it. I really enjoy making coffee. Nice. I had uh, last week when we, were, uh, on, w- w- when we had our podcast. Or, uh, scheduled. Scheduled, yes. Uh, I prepared for you a kavenki to have a little inside joke. Because I know you are barista and Kavenki is a Slovak sweet uh, with a coffee taste. But I ate them. So. Oh, man. <laughs> so Next time. I'm just going to grab a drink. Uh, yeah. Can you check the... Take it. The yes, of course I can. Sorry for not giving you an attention. So, um, Dubnica Gaming. Okay. Uh, I fall asleep, no question asked. Ilava so close to me. Do you know Valaska Bela, Patrick? Yes, I know Valaska Bela. It is... Uh, I don't. It's, uh, I would say, over the mountains. And I don't mean Hobbit. I mean, uh, not Stredozem. It's uh, Homolka. It's a sky center. Uh, older sky center, but if it's a very deep winter, you can still go there if, it, uh, if there is a snow. And I think the Valaska Bela is behind. And it is like a cross, crossway mm-hmm. when the, the road's crossing. It's a crossroad. Crossroad. Okay. When it, it is a crossroad between Valaska Bela, Chichmani, Nitranske Rudno. Am I right? Chichmani is a place that I always wanted to visit. It's where the wooden yeah. um, houses are, right? UNESCO? Yes. yes. It looks beautiful. Yes. I wear there uh, m- many times. And it is nice. And you can get the halushki there. And I, I love brinza with halushki. With brinza. Exactly. It's delicious. Hey, Miguel, could you please say hi to Patio from Uri Prikaski <laughs> from, from Nova That's Pizza. nice. Do you know him? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, do you know me? <laughs> <laughs> It's a brother of Tomáš, and uh, I, I knew these guys. Of course, I knew you. Why would I not? Yeah, say, I'm saying hi to you. Hi, hi. So uh, let's go with this. Hi. Kind of sucks that you don't know my nickname. It's Dominic Zbik. Ah, Domino. This is fun story because I know you are a gamer. Mm-hmm. Maybe not now, but Big I time still. Still, you are. Mm-hmm. I w- I'm streaming the new Mario game after this. I I've I've seen that. You've seen it yesterday or two days you ago. You know what? Actually, maybe you might help me afterwards because I'm having a difficult time setting up voice mod. W- voice mod for what? Uh, it's a it's a program that changes your voices because when I do my streams, okay, and for example for Mario games I have different voices for different characters. Okay, and now I you have, have it more real, them. yeah. Now I have to do them my and I can do them like I can do a girl and I can do Bowser and mm-hmm. I can do everybody, mm-hmm. but it's too much work. Okay, so I much rather press a button. <laughs> so, so maybe we can look at if I can help you, I would. So back to this, uh, I like games, but I'm not a gamer. I'm I'm, I really suck in games. Me too. But uh, Dominique is uh, a, f- a, a guy who uh, feel it when we play some League of Legends. And he play on bot with me. I'm the worst ADC, like, ever, period. I'm the worst. I, I just int everything. And he's there. Morgana. And also Summit. 
and other guys, which yeah. are nice. I, and I promised them that I would say hi to them. So hi. Hi to them. You are the real one. Uh, you're like me and my team of people. I have a friend uh, from the US and we play together, but I'm the bad one in the team. So the only reason that they have me because they're really good. Mm -hmm. They are really, really good at uh, Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. But they just keep me in the team because I'm funny. <laughs> <laughs> and they enjoy seeing me like my body <laughs> flying everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you are anchor for the team, but you are funny to to play with and have a beautiful evening yeah. together. This Maybe I am the same for these guys. And they also enjoy that um, they know where the the people are because I get killed, so they know that. <laughs> that, <laughs> guy <is> well. <laughs> <laughs> that guy is there, so be careful. So you you've got a. Uh, it is called lobby. Uh, when you always in lobby, it is lobby simulator. Something. So like you play that. like this. And the other reason that they like me is because when they have me in the team. They go to easier lobbies because my ra mm -hmm. kill ratio is like mine is 10 million. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I literally, they tell me that they play with, with people that are probably handicapped. <laughs> literally. Okay, so <laughs> we actually, before I forget, we need to sign the PC. Okay. Okay. So Let's for go. that, we, we need a little bit of a ceremony. So we got to, mm -hmm. you just move that for a second. Actually, don't, don't worry. We will not switch the camera. People know what happens. Okay. Okay. So I will. While you're while he's signing the the PC anywhere you want. Okay. Uh, let's see what else people are writing. Join us for league later, Miguel. Oh, Dominic, you would hate me. I'm terrible. And uh, Nati, if you're still in the chat, could you please plug the Discord? Thanks. Or anybody, guys, if you can, throughout the the podcast, please post the link to the Discord so more people join us. Uh, Miguel, maybe the Mobile Legends will be good for you. Maybe. Oh yeah, so actually my friend Cynthia has been recommending a game, and I will definitely need to get into it for sure. To so Mobile Legends, okay, you know it. Yep, you play it once, and, and it is uh, something. Am I right? As League of Legends, is it looking a little bit the same? Yeah, something like that. But you have different heroes, and then you pay. Apparently, the best part of the game is paying twenty euro for a skin. <laughs> S in every game, every other, uh, it's uh, other gaming, it's called other gaming, and that's when the brands have something in the games, but this is not the, s the deal, this is just how they can sell things through the game. But so some things are just insane, bit of education. it's just insane, like, yeah. she was showing me skins and, like, really the difference from one to the other is the guy who's wearing a hat, <laughs> or something like that's that. That's true. For 20 euros. You but you hat. know he invested 20 euros That's and true. you are like, wow, this is something. That was probably the best hat that you could buy. It's the best 20 euro skin and then one week for not eating. <laughs> 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 then you got to be buying those roll keys or, or you know what? Those instant soups for 30 cents. Oh, that's nice. Those are legit soups. You know what you do? You buy them soups and you add like corn and shallots and vegetables even an egg, and it will be delicious, yeah. for sure. But <laughs> back to to your story. So I, now I know where you grew up. Yeah. But tell me about your youth, though. What kind of a, of a teenager were you? Were you problematic? Were um, you so we can just go how I get where I am. Yes. Maybe this little bit of a journey. <laughs> uh, <Rage> Shadow Legends. <laughs> Let's not, please. <laughs> Shadow Legends? They're, they're not sponsoring me yet. You won't. <laughs> Because they they've got advertising with everyone, I think so. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's how low I am in the food chain. That not even <laughs> Shadow Legends will will ask me for a sponsorship. And that's something that's bad. That that's is really good. bad. But Shadow Legends, they've got good ad ads. I think they do. They uh, the 3D models of their characters break into some uh, corporate world. I think. Am I right? Yeah, they they are they're good at marketing, right? Yeah, they are. Uh, but they if they invest. invested that money in the game, they'd probably be better. <laughs> I've never played it, but I think that I'm not missing anything. No, you're <laughs> definitely not. Uh, you you played this uh, a couple of times, uh, well, only because it was recommended by some YouTubers. But. And in what game did you invest the most money? Real money, I mean. Uh, whew. and how much? Probably. But it's tricky. It's tricky because the answer is simple. It's Diablo 2. But I wasn't Ew. investing money. I was finding items, selling them, and I couldn't get cash. Uh, so you re 
we use the credit, use the to, credit to buy s- expensive stuff so that's how i did it not with cash because mm-hmm. uh, i would not pay for but it was some type of a pay to win na no? am i am i not right uh, duplog no, also uh, talk about this but it was not that double true no it, it's uh, different you're thinking about immortal. diablo immortal ah okay so there i did spend money but not a huge amount i bought the battle pass mm-hmm. and some wings you know mm-hmm. yes i bought the 15 euro wings cynthia in diablo <laughs> But o- they were legit wins. Only one? Only one. Okay. Because then I gave up because it was pay to win. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I couldn't be bothered over that. Yeah, those games are terrible. But yeah, back to back to your journey. Again, but this is also not <laughs> a good topic. I like it. Uh, to my journey, I was, I think, uh, I used to do, uh, okay, so from the real beginning, uh, so I, I was... I all want the juicy stuff. <laughs> Give it to me. So I'm going all only through the points where uh, which are uh, a little bit interesting. So I went to Osemročne gymnasium. Really? That's the name of a gymnasium? No, th- that, that is a type of gymnasium. Oh, it's uh, eight year. Yeah, eight year gymnasium. Yeah, it's uh, in Slovakia. We have this type of you don't end your uh, prim- primary school. Mm-hmm. Your nine years, you are not ending. You are in like seven to s- six to seven you are swapping to the gymnasium and you continue in gimpel it's uh <clears throat> for us intelligent people it's too complicated to keep track no, of i may be uh, i'm i'm the worst uh w- how do you say when you are explain explainer i'm the worst explainer probably no it's just that it's it's too complicated we have elementary middle high school uh, so it is in so, yeah. elementary then you go to middle Then you go to high school. And middle and high school are together. That's why elementary it's elementary and middle are together. And who thought of that? That's high school. Uh uh-uh. uh. You are right. You are right. Mm-hmm. Middle and the high school. And there is university. But that's kind of creepy because then you have like twelve year olds with eighteen year olds. No, huh? they are not. They no. they start uh they've got their own classes. Mm-hmm. It means like you are in seventh seventh grade or sixth grade. And you go to gymnasium mm-hmm. and you continue together, but not together together, but you've got same classes, but same uh type of studying and same classes. Okay. And you go and one part ends in ninth, but you continue to one, two, three, four uh, to the high school part. Can you actually maybe before we continue can it was you uh, it was just bad we can can we cut it off no 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 <laughs> I, i'm actually my question is more related to who thought that it would be a, a good idea to create schools and then gymnasiums and why do they <laughs> i guess we got ch- i guess we move on to different subjects <laughs> no, i don't know i just so cannot let, answer <laughs> this i don't know so let's move on to to what <laughs> cynthia said here <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> also, Miguel, the skin that changed the hair of Hero and unlocking Hero cost me 10 euro. <laughs> the skin that cost me 20 euro was the one with a crown. Oh, it had a crown. Oh, oh. And so a new it voice. is not hat, it is crown? It is a crown. Good investment. Good investment. For sure. I need a crown. For sure. But then... You deserve one. Thank you. <laughs> and, and I would need one. <laughs> Actually, one cool thing, guys, that you guys watching... Is that I'm going to reveal to you and mm-hmm. to the chat my Halloween costume. Okay, I'm ready. So make sure that you're watching the podcast till the end because we will be showing you my Halloween costume. And why we all go- we are all going to use our imagination to imagine Miguel in Halloween costume. I have to say, 80% of you is not subscribed to Please this channel. Please subscribe already, Jesus. And actually, maybe they can guess in the chat what, what do you think yeah, my costume Chucky. will be? That was two years ago. Ah, not such a deep research. No, you did well, but... So, okay, Chucky. And the second one is... Guys, you can s- guess in the chat Scream too. Is, n- is a mainstream, so you are going deeper, and you would be... Uh, can I have one thing to ask? Yes, of course. Is it you can a ask male as as or w- uh, female? It's a male. It's a male, so... He has a pee peek. <laughs> uh No, it's it's a Chucky. <laughs> This is Chucky. This is Chucky. I'm just looking at <laughs> <my> what? <laughs> you Chucky. Why is twice. Chucky next to me? <laughs> you would be 
as a man, as a man character. I see the smoke coming out of your head. <laughs> <laughs> I felt that saw, you know, from saw the jigsaw, mm, jigsaw. but it is not what you would do. I would, I would at some point. I like horror. So I know you are enthusiast in horrors. Extreme, extreme. So I love it. So I will give you between two. Um, mm-hmm. Not you are making it so easy. <laughs> g- no, actually, more, no, more. Actually, <laughs> actually, actually, I will not say anything yeah. because people are. Guessing. And I would like to cha- wait for it. I would like to wait. Maybe I would not even know. Uh, but I, 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 I just don't know. It's okay. It, will, it will be the the guy from Texas Ski Massacre. And it will come with chase of no, but that would that's that's probably at some point I need to do that. It's crazy with a skin mask and uh, this is a thing that changed my uh, childhood because with my f- uh, friend Nella that time we were oh, Nella, Netflix, like like Netflix and chilling. No, we were like eight or seven years oh, okay. old. We no, were a little bit neighbors. Not, not good. <laughs> no, not good. We were neighbors, and they've got that. In the time we used CDs to watch films, and they've got a little. Not little. It was a big box of little CDs, uh, and we they, they've got a lot of things. But I never forget one thing, and that was Texas Ski Massacre Motorovo Pilo, the film, like 2007. It was so gore. Why, why did they have that movie? I don't know why did have they. Nella, answer this. I don't know. You still talk to Nella? Yeah, I still talk to well, Nella. Let me just. <laughs> why? Why? Nella, <laughs> ko uh, tatin ko e maminka apita isa precho. <laughs> but the point is, we watched it in a darker. We we closed the oh, curtains God. and everything, and we watched the the beginning is it, it is we are the the real world. Uh, I don't know what whatever this film start. And it was shots of coming to the basement and the nails on the this walls. This was the original one or the remake? original one, I think, okay. or maybe maybe remastered. It sounds that like time. the remake, yeah, yeah. But and and we just skipped through through the the film, and there were they were that he was hunting them with this, and he cut them leg out and put them on uh yeah like the like hook. Janoshik on a hook, hook. Oh, Janoshik. yeah, like under the ribs. They were replaying Janoshik. Yeah. And it was so hard. I am I a little bit still I am afraid to go to basements and any house because of this. It was just a trauma that I I, I I went through. I don't blame you. It's it's such a strong movie. But you know what? I have a maybe a controversial opinion on these because I'm not such a big fan of these gory movies. I don't get scared. It's shocking. It's not scary. It right? is like what the hell? Even but, saw saw jigsaw film. Yeah, for me it same. is like why the hell what kind of a uh, very different type of person would do this I know that the first movie went uh, and they made it because they had a little bit budget and one room that was how the first that, saw that, that movie was that movie was great did you watch the sick. first saw yeah I was I afraid of jigsaw for a longer time long period because of uh, my old childhood trauma of the horror films but I then I I rewatched all the films and I also sometimes when I have v- weird mood I watch the traps the com- compilations of traps really? soul traps sometimes I I, 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 I think just I think you should speak to a therapist yeah <laughs> 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 guys when I'm stressed I just like to see people torn apart <laughs> no, no i'm just looking how the mechanism works and what the hell the person thinks about this like are you building something do you have a basement no, in no, at I home have, i have not <laughs> <laughs> building traps be careful people from but i'm talking about imagine what type of person sit like you know it's evening eight o'clock and i sit and i am like hmm it will be beautiful if him tore him his, his arm <laughs> apart and then his jaw i'm sure you falling. know somebody that you would think is beautiful if that happened to them. no no <laughs> i am not this is not good don't watch it if you are not uh, over 18 exactly it, it will change a, your life the family show let me just ask yeah 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 yeah, yeah. i love how to watch how to survive jigsaw, jigsaw traps is awesome oh, i like that I, that i like that's that's the point I, i wouldn't survive them i watch only two videos of uh those traps and then this and this is awesome like really mm, It's Let, so good. Let's see what people are saying. Is, is it yeah, change the topic because I'm sweating already. <laughs> This is weird topic. I don't like... Do you, do you want the fan to be stronger? 
no, it's nice. But I'm I'm sweating because of you this have horror here. You thing. Can make it. You don't need this uh, to blow on you. No, I'm used to the heat here. Mm-hmm. It yeah. is it is hot here. I I'm I like this. I, I was born Latino, so I'm immune to to the heat. So this is uh, what uh, Saul thinks. Just what type of different person makes this type of films? Uh, look what Adriani SS wrote. Adriani SS. The difference you can between eight-year gymnasium and a primary school, high school, is names of grades. He stood at the same school, but the studies are being prepared for study on a university. In general, this is how I would write it if I have chill time, not being live, and not being here in front of you. Probably I would think about it like this, but now I have no uh, brain capacity to do this. Thank you, Adrian. Thank you, Adrian, for enlightening us, as we we needed that. But uh, yeah, I we're moving on from gore, but I want to discuss that as I get older. What I what is the type of horror that I enjoy? Not sophisticated horror because there are some, like I don't know if you saw a movie. The there's a studio called A24. Okay. And A24 released, for example, Midsommar. I and uh, some uh, they make horror movies. X okay. as well. And their movies are more of an elevated horror, which I don't enjoy. What is, to me, effective horror is the one that connects different pieces. Throughout, you see different things. And then when you get to the end, you okay. see how they are connected. And then you get that feeling in the back of your neck. You know, you get goosebumps. <sighs> Goosebumps everywhere. One good I example know. of that is uh, the movie Noroi, the, cu- the Curse. It's a Japanese movie. It's terrifying. Over me. Mm-mm. But nothing happens that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Just you are introduced to... Uh, it, it, the name itself is terrifying, terrifying, right? Terrifying, yeah. And then there's... I will have to give you a list of, of really terrifying movies. I don't think that I need it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you might, be, you might find it interesting, right? Let's see the Prima... Secunda, tercia, quarta, quinta, sexta, septima, octava. That's how the uh, Sounds like Spanish. gymnasium. Sounds like Spanish. Can be. Prima, secunda, tercia. So how do you divide each other? Like, do you... Like, yeah, I'm from quarta. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and there's beef between uh, septima think. and octava? <laughs> <laughs> no, th- they are friends. They are going to drink together. What is the dating regime there? Who can octava date up to what? Without being uh, called Octava creepy. is like 18 years old. When you end Octava, you are going to Maturita. Yeah. It's the end of the uh, ha- high school. Mm-hmm. I'm learning it. And then you can go to university. But who can they date without being creepy? Mm, without being creepy, Octava is 18, Septima 17, Sexta 16, Quinta 15. So Quinta, isn't it Spanish? 15, It's close. Quinta. In Spanish is Quinta. Quinta. With so it will be probably from Spanish as... So I mean, if you if you saw a guy from wh- where I lost, I never mind. think about it like this. Prima eleven, seconda twelve, tercia thirteen, quarta fourteen, quinta fifteen, sexta sixteen, septima seventeen, octava eighteen. Makes sense, right? Mind blown. So we got into the part of the podcast where you will teach the audience mm-hmm. a uh, a word or actually an expression in this case. Yeah, I I realized. I've got the red ears. Do you? <laughs> uh, okay, this book. Anglický, 365 anglických cool frázy a výrazů. Takže to je po česky. For, for 365 episodes. Yeah. <laughs> You're ready. I love this shirt, dude. Thank you. What? I love this shirt. Thank you. That's what I do. It's from Latin. Dominic is a high IQ guy, so he knows. Yeah. He's Probably smart. Probably uses Google. He's really smart. Yeah. Um, I've got two. So please write one. If it's one, write two. If it's two, the first number goes. And <laughs> going to wait 255 years. So let, let's see if they can guess in the in the chat what, what it is. It's from Adina. Yeah. And by the way, Cynthia became a member. Oh, that's, that's you are a, a bet. Thank you. Thank you for feeding me. <laughs> I need Your it. attention span is so fast that you don't even find this uh, there. But it's better than spending it on skins, you know. I think to spend it on a brown yeah. man. Probably, yeah. Cynthia, it's nice to uh, subscribe to this type of topic 
and you're learning something. I was thinking of altogether getting rid of my different tiers and just keeping the A1 99 cent one mm-hmm. because it's more it's less about financial gain and more about bragging. Mm-hmm. What do you think would that be a good idea? It will, but uh, it does it means what is your target and what you want to achieve with this. If you want money to be no. really good uh, in this this podcast makes uh any profit goes to charity so I know I know I know I know I heard. So, uh if w- the reason when uh, nobody writes anything is that I go with blue. So, the phrase is when someone is very successful uh, in what he wants to achieve and one day he will achieve it and still uh, will be the same guy as he was and is literally uh okay communicative and uh it's a person that doesn't changed this do, will be it do you know somebody like that for me it's uh i think saifa okay let's hear so why saifa this uh he is so successful and still he will talk to anyone mm-hmm. dushan Yes, Dushan is a good example. The same example. Adela Banasova. Adela is the same I'm I n- don't know idea. Adela. I wrote her and she replied she's like, "Oh, what up, yo?" What <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Yo." In person I don't know her. Also, uh what I know from a personal experience, Robo Pukac is an octagon fighter. Robo Pukac. I don't know. Diamantovi Chavo. Chavo. <laughs> yeah. He is a big monster. His fighter as hell. Sounds like a strip uh, strip team. Don't don't say this. Sounds <laughs> like a stripper mm-hmm. name. No, 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 no. He's a he's oh, a big fighter. Chavo. <laughs> But he is as person he is sweet. He is right. awesome. He will talk. He will he will have fun. So those people are this. Does anybody know? Does anybody know? They didn't Stay humble is a good uh, Stay humble. Person. Be humble. Sit down. As a uh, Kendrick Lamar would say. So I think they will not be guessing. So what is the phrase? Down to earth. Down to earth. So Dushan is successful, but he behaves like a regular person. So he is down to earth. Yeah. Yeah. Saifa for me is the same. You know, he is funny. He's cool. He posts his daughter making fun of things. He posted a video which was so awesome when I saw it in the morning. They were looking at Oral and... Uh, i will write it to you. I, I will show it to I, you. It, it was in his stories. In his, uh, I think, real. It was real. I think I saw it. It was so nice. It was about Cecilko. And it is from uh, one old movie. Let's watch it. Let's watch it. It's so sweet. What is the movie? Uh, I don't think im- if I'm right, but you can find it out. Uh, Slunce Seno, I think it is. Guys, if you know where I can get this movie, or if you can send me uh, the Netflix link... I don't think it will be. <laughs> That's just code name for. <laughs> for what? For uh, <laughs> what is what is the name of it? U- Uložit vodka ska. Uložto. 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 Send oh. him there. True to self can be also down to earth, true to self, and stay humble. Those all are. Those are all very good examples. See, we have a very educated. Uh, yeah, they are. Chat here. They are. But we keep getting distracted from uh the from base the topic, top. but this is what uh, this uh, can it is how it is. Yeah, yeah. We don't need to have structure. We can just talk and this is how somebody, it is. Somebody complained that I wasn't structured and I cried for about two days. <laughs> Period. You you know still, who you are. Still you know crying. Are. <laughs> still today. Still. Did you ever get in trouble when you were a teenager? I think that I was uh not this type of uh, cool guy. I was yeah. funny. Were I, you a nerd? No, v- I was not. Uh, I I played Metin 2. It was bedtime. Metin 2 was RPG game, uh, which where you were. Oh, it was like World of Warcraft, the type of you were running through the the country and fighting the monsters, uh, reaching levels, getting better items. And one, I I played it when when in elementary school, I think, mm-hmm. and it was the moment when I stopped believe in people. In that moment, and I stopped believe into myself because I was there standing 23 level guy it was my birthday so i got from my better guys better friends uh, an expensive item it was not in money but it was like plus nine mm-hmm. uh, it was enchanted and everything 
and one guy wrote me that he's admin of the server and he needs to go to my account <laughs> because I did something very bad and he has to <laughs> look for it. And I was like, okay, this is my account, password, nickname. And yeah, five minutes there. So five minutes. Ano, stara, mama. I can, <laughs> but he was the Q0P. It looks good. And I, I wrote one guy, is this admin? And he said, yeah. I was like, okay. So, so it is, uh, it is, uh, Potvrdené. What is potvrdené? Uh, evidence. Yeah, the, the evidence is there. Everyone knows this is admin. Let's give him. So I gave him and come back in five minutes, start crying, and uh, my world just broke. That moment I was... Did you report him? No, I did not. I don't know how to do, so I ran down to the yeah, basement. Verified, sorry. Verified is... Verified, yeah. So I ran down to my mother's... Uh, my mother was putting things to the washing machine. And I was like, mama... Bol som okradnutý. A ona, ty si sprostý. Bolo <laughs> <laughs> super. No, tak... Uh, like, I'll give you a reason to cry. <laughs> <laughs> and in that moment, I stopped playing things and that was good because I think that I was addicted that moment. I came from school, I played. It was bad, uh, bad moments. Since then, everything changed. I'm a different man. I started to play in theater. Can you imagine... If that guy wouldn't have scammed you, you'd be like a total yeah. waste getting yeah. high and playing games all And day. maybe I would win a lot of money on the tournaments because... You were, but you said you weren't good. Uh, that time, I think that I had potential. But today, it is uh, lost. There's a, an expression that is not used so much here in Europe. But in the US, we say it when somebody's really good at something, they are nasty. Nasty? I'm really nasty at... Something. So it is um, in a used bad word for the something uh, awesome. Like yeah. you're f- nasty, eh? Like I'm really nasty at. Uh, I don't I'm bussing. I'm good. Okay. Exactly. It's not used Can so be. much here. I don't know why. No, I've never heard it well, to no, be I, used in know. this uh, context. So I'm really nasty at this game, or really nasty yeah. at something else. So potential was there. I Then, I had a similar thing uh, when I was playing Diablo, but it was because of a glitch that when you died your body would explode and all your okay. items would drop to the ground. Wow. And it was like uh, meant to be there, that glitch? No, no, no. It wasn't meant to be there. It, uh, it just happened. It just happened, but it was very specific scenario where in Diablo, when you die, you leave your body. Mm-hmm. And then you have to go and find it. And you can take your uh, things stuff back. back. But what happened is if you died and you went for your body and they killed you again, your body would explode. So no one gets anything. And th- during this time, like nobody was, everybody was smart enough not to, not to go and find their body after they died, right? After a player killed them. Okay. Because you can become hostile and it was a big mess. Weird. Yeah, it Weird was a moment. big mess. Miguel, Miguel, will you add Nightbot? What is Nightbot? Is that something on Discord? I think, isn't it? that guy on Discord that plays music for you? I don't know. I'm not a... Maybe if you guys explain to me what it is. Oh, for, for streams, streams yeah. here. Hmm? I- if somebody could explain to me in the Discord what it is, then, then maybe... Okay. Aha. Uh-huh. I don't know. How do I do it? But th- that's why I have you guys here. It's like, can you put a bot to do our job? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Guys, don't say what to do. Say how to do. <laughs> That's Miguel will need it like this. That that's why there is like 17 mods for a chat of 10 people. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice <laughs> so that so that we don't have a a robot but it's important to have mods <laughs> because the chat the chat will grow the, the the whole account will grow and then it will be not enough. It's uh actually the fastest growing account that I have is my TikTok account. Yeah, how much? It's getting close to a thousand cool. from from nowhere. Cool. From one week two weeks something like that. Mm, can be Nice. Like I'm just posting clips from the actually my my top story is of course two clock. Yeah, uh, but TikTok. Uh, it's okay. It's just like uh, it has to be. It's a big name today. It has hype. But it's not hype hype because hype is bad. If you have yeah. hype, it's just like poof, and nothing there. Look, we actually gained ten ten subscribers since you sat there. Woo! I'll have to send you a You're check. Welcome. I guess. You're welcome. I'll have to send you a check after the, <laughs> the podcast. So yeah. moving on. So you were not a a problem child. Did, do you no. have any siblings? Yeah, I've got two sisters. They are uh, twins. Oh wow. Yeah. How old? 
Now they will be 16, turning 16 in uh, December. They're Babette Kos. But they are awesome. Nina and Nella saying hi to them. Hi. Hi. Yeah, my darlings, we are friends as hell. We're just having... We have an awesome relationship. What kind of dynamic is there? Because it's... Because of twins, siblings? Because of twins, but also because, you know, you're the big brother. I am. So, <laughs> yes, the I The protector. Am. Seven years between us. Uh, what between them or between us between you two you uh, three <laughs> yeah now i think that i am a different person that i was so i'm trying to give them an examples of the real world how they can act in different situations situations they are awesome listeners i'm type of guy when i come come to their home because uh i don't live there mm-hmm. i don't live with them uh so i when i came there i sit on the couch i i put them there and i start talking to them like the wise words <laughs> you know and they're like and then they're so good and they have i don't know if they are afraid to say like i don't care i don't care patrick <laughs> because in that age i was like oh, yeah, this is so so boring but i listened but everything what, what do you tell them like what kind of everything lessons? like this is the business what do you have to do pretend that Right there, you're speaking to them. So teach them a life lesson. Let's, yeah. Let's hear uh, it out. Sometimes I came like uh, the big importance in the world is to make friends. <laughs> you sound like a Disney cartoon. That's hashtag one ingredient in success. Motivation story right now. You have to make s- friends because without people around you, without knowledge of people, you are you can you can be the best. But if no one's recognize you and no one s- sees your work, you are nothing yeah so i'm here today just because uh, certain uh, consequences that happened and uh, it's very good consequences very good consequences uh, which i cannot uh, understand till this moment which i'm glad for of course but this is what i tell them most of the time because they're shy and they don't want they are not extrovert ex- extrovert that i am because I am I I make friends where I go. Mm. I love it. And uh I I'm even more energetic in Slovak than I'm now in English because still you I'm You are pretty energetic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And I'm I'm telling them like you need to say hi to that grandma there. You need to say to that old woman to the uh, cashier to everyone you have to say hi to be communicative to be just friend because the energy that you are giving you will receive. And it is so important to make friends even to have a good um, quality relationships and you don't need thousands of people you need like i don't know 20 30 good friends and it will go we are life with you and you will receive more and more and more and more and opportunities there and there and there and there and then when you receive opportunity you have to take it like i took this because i just felt like this is looking weird but i love it just go for it you're very right because uh you discover first of all slovakia is a very small place yes and the things that you do really impact you with other people like people yeah. know every time i'm sure that you know somebody that knows me from some yeah. somewhere else mm-hmm. so th- that is one thing and the second thing is there's always in order to do anything anywhere but especially here you always need a friend i g- give you an example like i needed to get the flu shot the vaccine for the flu Mm-hmm. Last year I just couldn't find it anywhere. It wasn't in the pharmacy, but people mm-hmm. were getting it left and right, right? Mm-hmm. So this year I was able to get it because of a friend. Purely because of that. So there's some comments here. Uh, let's see. So much blue in this chat. Yeah. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> it's to- it's a chat of moderators <laughs> which we are glad for. You should join our Discord, Patrick. We need someone who I was there for a moment, but I re- then I realized that it's my Maroš account. That's the account with uh, which I use just uh, for fun and uh-huh. uh, stalk. That's your trolling <laughs> account? Uh, no trolling, but <laughs> and now uh, they know. <laughs> yeah, it was my uh, s- university account with an university email with Patrick Chepela name on it, mm-hmm. and when I re- realized that I'm playing with nickname guys with my own name with my university id so i have to change everything yeah. so i deleted the email and i put marosh there so i will uh, make my own personal discord and then i will uh, go to your uh, discord community 
Just let us know what it is so we can give you yeah, the Yeah, I was there for a moment. I know that you write for Good Morning and some news share there and like to open le- lessons there. We be- have because you do that. I did not I I didn't attend that. We have one for Saturday. Yeah. So you just uh, learn and you teach people. I have uh, already prepared. Learn phrases. is not good word. Teach people. Yes. Actually, that's a very good thing that you mentioned people confuse a lot the teach and the learn. And basically, no, study and learn. Yeah. They confuse a lot because they, when you study, you're going over the content. But when you learn, actually, it's in your head. So you are, you are not learning, but you are studying. And until it's not in you, then yeah. so this is something that people confuse a lot. We actually have the good morning thing is my favorite part because they post uh, religious Like Jesus, good <laughs> morning. <laughs> yes, and <laughs> gifts and <laughs> stupid things there. I love it. And we also have a ranking system Okay, that is based around the Mushroom Kingdom with oh. Mario. So you mm-hmm. start as a Goomba, which is the this little guy here, yeah. the little brown guy. <laughs> He's the Goomba, and then you evolve to different roles. That's nice. I'm Bowser. Okay. The biggest guy. The biggest one, level nine, 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 nine. <laughs> So people quite like that. Uh, let's see. The Where You and OG account then. Did you join um, within the first week? Yeah, he was. We'll give him the OG. Because we have a limited number of OGs. Yeah, I, I was there. I don't know when. First week, yeah. I want to be OG. Yeah, <laughs> first it was first week. Yeah, That's, that's not going to be given out again, that role. Ah, OG, only so to. I need to be an OG. So with your with your twin sisters, yeah, how is it to have twin siblings? Fantastic! Like, don't you get confused? Can you tell them apart? Be yes, honest. Yes, of course. How? But since they were born, how? No one can. But I saw the difference. I have uh, some type of magic inside me that I f- uh, can feel the people's energy. I have that's, this magic too. That's weird. <laughs> that it's called high IQ or something. Uh-huh. I think not IQ is the right word because uh, it's EQ? called EQ. Yeah, it's uh, emotional quotient, not intelligent quotient. Uh, so emotional quotient, I I can feel if this person is um, meaning bad to me or it is just like this is a bad day for him and it will be better. So, um, yeah, with this and twin sisters and everything, I can... And I've got good uh, memory f- on faces. I see. I saw you in mm-hmm. Gomez once. You, were, you were scared. You're like, "Where's my wallet, <laughs> guys? <where's laughs> What my wallet? the hell? Who <laughs> the hell is this with the purple <laughs> shoes?" I was just you walking had... around, and all of your staff was just like, "What? Who is that?" And you know, my favorite part is I'm walking near the ladies that were, I don't know, they were arranging some T-shirts, but they had their purses, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden, I see everybody. <laughs> Like, no, no, I'm not going to it. I'm just kidding. I have to say, <laughs> everybody uh, was nice. Natalka was here f- even from GoMerch. I don't know if she's still here. I don't think so because I really ignored, and you also. But uh, she was up there, up there somewhere, and she said hi. So we are saying hi to Nati. Hi, Nati. And also Alexandra was here in the chat, and I forgot to say hi. So hi, Alexandra. I don't know if you're this still watching. Is. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, so uh, back to the s- sisters. So I can... Uh, I have good memory on faces, so I can define this person. I saw him there. So I saw you in Go Merge, and then after, I don't know, half and a year or something like that, I saw you in Duke Looks, uh, and I... What was your honest first impression? First impression? When like, who the hell is this, and why he's so cool? Because you had Stan Smith with collaboration of uh, University, Monster University. Oh, yeah. I the shoes. Have, I love them. Those are hairy purple shoes, and I said, this has to be cool guy. Everybody makes fun of me. You see, um, every time, this is the typical reaction. I'm at the bus stop, right? Yeah. And so many people can judge you, because, but it is style. It is how you feel. I love my Monsters Inc. shoes. And I'm this type of guy that I wear um, pretty, pretty, pretty normal shoes, I think, because I uh, interact with people in different... I, wouldn't, I don't want to say this like classes. Mm-hmm. I, I talk with young guys to the older uh, promoters on the firms and CEOs and this and this. As a freelancer, I do this type of thing. So I cannot just wear big hoodie as a skater you, or as a dancer. You can't look like a best domovets. You got to yeah. look legit. 
Yeah, and I don't want to. So I don't, I don't, I'm not the suit guy. This one extreme and the best demo it's extreme. So mm-hmm. I wear just like normal streetwear, but I, I like that that how you express yourself and even with uh, all of the gaming t-shirts and things i don't judge i only wear t-shirts yeah. gaming t-shirts it's okay <laughs> i i didn't show you my coolest pair of shoes though because i collect unique shoes i know what you th- i think that i know which Th- ones those from back to the future no i have a pair of self tying <laughs> shoes but those are not my favorite when we are here in this moment when we are talking about a little bit of tech Yes. I've got one more gift for you. No. It's a little, little, little gift. No, give, give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> Now. It's a, I have to, my uh, hot ears, but it's a sweet gift. Oh. But this is a uh, way of future. Hmm. So this is a black card. This is a black card in this uh, thing. And this is an NFC virtual uh, card for you. Mm-hmm. I use uh, one of my own and you can put a link, photo, and whatever you want, put it on anyone's phone, NFC reader will read it, and then y- it will pop off the notification, you will click, and the website on whatever you want will re- will show up. Wow. This is good thing, and I will show you mine. Thank you. Is that made from the blackest black on earth? No, probably not. But I've got one here. So how do I do this? And just uh, open your phone. This is my card. And you use uh, NFC application. And you just put it here. Oh, it already it'll, recognized yeah, it. Yeah, it will pop up. And it will show you my website, which I uh, add I, on. Are you going to help me set up mine? It's so easy. Is it is like uh, idiot proof. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Another great gift. It's a pleasure. Because I know that you are that guy. And <laughs> the most funny thing that I've had probably the interaction it was like first big interaction with us and we were sitting on Duclock's uh 10th year anniversary party in uh, that uh bar there i don't want to name that so why would i yeah. why would we do that and we just went there and that was the day when the ultras came out and i said wow you've got the ultras and you were like come to my podcast and here <laughs> and sounds like me and i said what <laughs> The first interaction, we just say hi in back in the firm. He's my thousand euro watch. Yeah, it, he was like, "What?" It was my first interaction. I saw that on only in, uh, like, this is the advertising, in the Apple event. I saw it, and he was like, "Here," I said, "Wow, what what can I do?" And he was like, "Put it on your hand. It is nice it's on your wrist." So I put it, and he was, "This is nice. This is the best tech, the titanium case." And he, we sit, and then he was like. And I came to Nitra for this phone. And he take out the newest iPhone 14 uh, that's a Pro Max. Yeah. And I was like, wow, this guy is a tech guy. And, and I was like looking at him. And he had the Back to the Future uh, lower shoes. And he was like, yeah. And I, I, I said. <laughs> that's exactly me. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I said, he, he had a beer in hand. And I said like, wow, nice shoes. And he, had, he said like, mm-hmm. From Nike, and I said, "Yeah, they, those are cool." And he he slipped his feet out of them, and he said, "Like, try them." And I was <laughs> looking Wait. at him, like, and at this what? moment, they had to evacuate the whole <laughs> bar. That was first thing. Uh, uh, no one sees that, but that's the moment when all the videos start glitching. Mm-hmm. In uh, also the podcast with uh, Misha. <laughs> and everyone has to be evacuated the SBS came down and SWAT team just come uh, like what the hell is this all Bratislava is up on feed and this is a problem this is a national threat I know <laughs> <laughs> I know and I try them and the moment when we sat in the front uh, front seats I had Miguel's shoes on my feet Miguel has only socks on his feet and he was holding his phone and doing this in his application And it tights, and I tie, untights his shoes. And I was like, wow, this is cool. And he was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> and I was holding his phone, his 2,000 euros watches, and his million dollar shoes. <laughs> What the fuck is happening? <laughs> and then th- we never saw Patrick again. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> there I was at midnight in Dubnica lo- looking for 
for you. Yeah, and uh, this is from Ludmila. I was surprised uh, surprised by his glasses, though. Oh, you and didn't see those glasses. Because you said, like, I even have the Ray-Ban glasses, <laughs> but I don't have now. And I was, okay. I didn't bring them to that party. Yeah, and I was like, wow. He introduces himself. I, I may show them to you today. Yeah, I would like mm. to. And then was, would you come to my podcast? That was second time that night. And I was like, mm-hmm. This would be cool idea. The thing with technology <laughs> is that I, I'm a strange person because I I will not spend money on clothing and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And actually, I feel bad about having to buy like necessary stuff for living. Feel you. But if there's some new Apple product, you did it. shut up and take my money. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly it. But yeah, I, I have to be extremely honest. I don't remember that whole interaction. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I saw that. I got so trashed. But the thing is that look, I went to I went to that event and I was fine. Like I even took Booty to the hospital. Yeah. Because he I burned know, himself. I saw you there. You were like holding his beer and yeah. like we should go to hospital. Yeah. Be- mm-hmm. Because he and he had really yeah. serious burns. Like yeah. like they covered him and everything. Yeah. Then when I came back, all hell broke loose. And I ended up with uh, Asi Mister mm-hmm. and He Booty, and that was after that. It I don't came remember. down. I remember like waking up here at at my place, like how the fuck did I get here? <laughs> <laughs> That's the morning that we all want after this type of party. Yeah, that was. I even didn't want to take money because I knew if I took money, but they. Paid how much did you spend? Twenty euro. I don't believe. No, don't believe, because they paid. I oh. see, Mister paid. Okay, but so uh, before that, did you just? Uh, I had the VIP. Ah, this so is good. This yeah, is good. what what a mistake Dushan made. I must have drank half of his budget. Yeah, <laughs> look, I spent zero. <laughs> Me and Polly is <laughs> in the bed red room. Ah, uh-huh. oh, okay. Look at this. There's a question here, guys. Maybe. A question, but what do you think about OnlyFans? Well, wow, Patrick, that's a good question. I'm sorry. Uh, aha, aha, other end, guys, maybe. Uh, what do you think of OnlyFans? <laughs> Honest opinion. Oh, it's a um, platform for artists. Uh, and I would say that those are artists because they do what they do. And they have audience that supports that. So it is pretty good uh, brand idea behind it all and the the and i i think that it's absolutely phenomenal that there is a possibility to buy someone's photos to show your titties yes and that's the most crazy thing is that the people are suppo- supposed to pay and fee and then extra fees for other things and they pay that and those models earn so much money from this I'm just like blown away about this business model. The only reason that I don't or ever been to to OnlyFans is because you need to pay 10 cents to create an account. To just register the card. Just to register your account. And never. never. I've never done it. But I, I, I will never I have d- that charge on my card. I didn't even download it. And never, never in the timeline of my life I would not do that because I think that... Uh, back to the uh, Michal's podcast with the dopamine and everything, you just don't want to do to your body that you will uh, get anything you want for free, you know, just like poop. You can do it with porn and these things, but this is so, uh, it's personal. You know, if you know the the girl, mm-hmm. I just, I don't know. Uh, I'm sorry to offend, but Ivana, some Ivana mm-hmm. somewhere in the universe is my friend. Hi, Ivana. And I know Akosamash. <laughs> and I know that she has OnlyFans and I'm I do some uh an original account just to buy those photos and knows. And that's weird. And even for the girls, for me it's weird to show. Yeah. And that's I, my opinion. I I, I, oh, I I admire the business model. It's freaking awesome. But I don't do that. I don't need it. I just don't care. I'm kind of a weird person because I don't uh, uh. Cut. Cut. He's a weird person. Okay. <laughs> He just bought everything. Everybody there. go away. Everybody was. But I'm not um I'm not attracted by overly showing everything. Mm-hmm. For me, the most effective 
way of attracting my interest is just showing enough to use my my mind to to put mm-hmm. the rest mm-hmm. but <clears throat> while we are in discussion i want to go back to what you mentioned before about um feeling people's emotions because i really relate to that mm-hmm. like if people are sad or angry it really affects my mood yeah. true and i also have this with faces because i worked as a teacher and i forget everybody's name until i see their face so i meet somebody in the street and that's upgraded level because i know exactly when i heard him when i see him where we were interacting with each other with each other even the people from the bus stop i can if i see him in two years i can identify them mm-hmm. that it was there i would never never ever know how they are named really? how they are names the names is some uh, secret chamber in my head you know you've got so special name like miguel yeah you But would have to know my you name. you say like Hi, my name is Patrick, and I say, hi, my name is Patrick, and I would just, if it's Patrick, I would uh, remember. I think it became a skill because of teaching, yeah. right? That it's I skill, it's skill, and you can face. learn that. It With face recognition, I'm like Apple IDs, and uh, FaceTimes and everything, this uh, this thing, I can recognize you, but I can't tell your name, mm. most likely, yeah. I'm working on it, but, but this is a problem of a lot of people. Yes, it is, and even it's, it was for me till I... You know, it became so like, you mastered this thing. Yeah. And I think it was due to making mistakes and people don't like when you don't get their name right. So, uh, Philip wrote, Miguel, if you need something from oh, Apple. Oh, yeah, 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 I, I've seen that. If you need something from Apple or some accessories, contact me and we can figure something this is, out. This is what I told you. This is what you were talking about, making friends and knowing yeah. people. Because But Philip is a guy yeah. who is a uh, jack of all trades in iStyle. And he knows uh, he does uh, things for uh, a lot of community here of the big names. So I should be his friend. Of course you Philip, should. Let me tell you that I'm the, the biggest. Philip Miguel spends a lot of money. So every year. Take him on a leash. <laughs> every year I uh, sell my iPhone to buy the new one. Yeah. So this is the new returning policy pol- policy that they will uh, show you. So uh, you can speak probably about this. He is good. He knows exactly what he's doing. But actually, my problem is not even the the money, but it's I hate that I, when I'm not able to get it at launch. You know that this <laughs> this actually the watch I had to travel to Nitra yeah. for because it was not in stock anywhere. I had five reservations at every electronic shop. Alza, the most disappointing. Alza is horrible. For what? For, for launches. launches? They okay. never have it on launch. Apple products. Anything. Mm-hmm. I, uh, this Mario game that just came out. Look, mm-hmm. listen to this. I reserved it like four months ago. The Both editions. And they sent me a message that it was going to be late. That same day I reserved the same game. I kid you not. It was there in the afternoon. Weird. They just mess with me all the time. I hate it so much. Wow. I've never had a problem with Elsa. So Miguel, I will buy your account. <laughs> What <laughs> that names? Who who wrote that? They uh they're still talking about the the OnlyFans. So, like, hey guys. <laughs> 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 so uh, <clears throat> um he said he's weird. So uh you you probably can. Do you have OnlyFans? <laughs> no, but what would you want to see my brushko or what? Such a nice brushko. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if, if I had the body for it, I would do it. Yeah? I, I would do it for sure. Wouldn't you feel embarrassed? Em- embar- embarrassed? Embarrassed? I have no shame. I have, Whoa, okay. I, I, I really have no shame. Like, you know, I, I spent a lot of time in Tabor with other Vedu scene, scene photos. Yeah, so... The, And the you stuff. do it for free, am I right? Yeah. So uh, you help those people because those are not normal people. Uh, camps? No, this is there's an organization for medical students. No, oh, um, okay. and they organize this camp mm-hmm. for children that want to be doctors. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. Uh, I go there, and actually, it's a Slovak camp. Okay, so I'm I didn't know. using my Slovak, and it's all. So we speak in Slovak there, mostly. Mostly, yeah. nice. I've I've nice. had to put myself out of my comfort zone for the past two years. No, not two years because Starbucks was the start. Um, working in Starbucks for like five years mm-hmm. just to practice Slovak and then this camp also. But the kids want to talk in English, you know. That's nice. 
They are. They, they are, are trying to learn something new, and you are trying to learn something new. So that is uh, comfort. Uh, you know, the the biggest problem. thing is that they have um, every afternoon they have um, like activities that they sign up for in the morning, right? Mm-hmm. So every Veduzi puts their activity, and I just have something called mystery activity. Mm-hmm. Nobody ever knows what it's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell tell you a secret, including me. <laughs> the last minute but camps does this all the time yeah. but they come enjoy my activity and you know what uh-huh. most of the time is zumba <laughs> and a zumba lecture it's like 30 boys dancing zumba dancing z- <laughs> <laughs> and they're like oh this, this is not pichu <laughs> <laughs> and the next day they are signing up <laughs> ah they like it <laughs> yeah so but they don't want to talk about it and that's no. about the shame don't feel shame do what you like and feel yourself in every situation be yourself just be yourself It, it's a hard lesson for people to learn. Yeah, but it is what it is. It's your life. And at the end of the day, you s- you just sit in your bed or lay down in your bed with yourself. And it is how you felt that day. If you were yourself or not, it's up on you. The Patrick, the field that you're in is a very competitive field. There are, I know so many people that are cameramen, video men, uh, multimedia creators. Uh, how... Did you land your job, or how did you get that opportunity to go work for? This GoMerch? is uh, this is a good thing. It it is not uh, about go merch. This is about me and uh, the moment when I ended up with a gaming session after I got uh, robbed. <laughs> uh, I I started uh, to play in theater, and I was doing in theater plays with uh, guys uh, or uh, with the people there. It was a bigger group. Then we just smaller, getting smaller, smaller, smaller. And then we just were like five guys going all over Slovakia uh, to play and to go to competitions. And we were freaking good. And then some successes and everything. And I was uh, uh, a recitator. What is that? It sounds like reciting something. Yeah, it is reciting something. Uh, I did this. It's uh, to get an example. It's a big competition in Slovakia. It's called Hviezdoslav Kubin. It's an author of the history, uh, very well known. And it is Hviezdoslav Kubin because it's in uh, Orava Kubin. The whole national round is in Kubin. And you have to win school round, the region round, the kraj, the big round, and then you go to the, the whole Slovakia. So it's important. Yeah, it, it's a big thing. A lot of f- very good people goes there. And I, uh, I attended s- uh, more times and all uh, more of this type of uh, competitions uh, i got i was two times in whole the slovak round and it is like you pick uh prosa or poesia okay prose or poetry prose or poetry yeah i did a prose it was a story that i i was recitating or talking and it is like you are you are a miniature there just which you are not doing with body but you are with face impressions and with a voice and you just uh, stand on the stage with a full uh, cinema or theater those are theaters probably mm-hmm. no cinemas and you just says your thing for i don't know 50 minutes and 50 it 50 minutes that you have to remember 15 minutes oh, okay. or i don't know 5 7 20 i don't know whatever it it doesn't care it is how, what ki- what type of uh, work you pick what type of a uh, story or you know something some people in the chat were um while you are if you can engage the chat about this kubin i'm gonna go change into the halloween oh I'm oh no you guys the preview yeah just a second just a second let's go yeah there's a slow kubin is a competition where you are going to do this to speak and uh the the moment when i did this was uh Then I realized that my voice, uh, I love to work with my voice and being myself and just, uh, you know, to be somehow successful in a few things. And we did also, uh, we had the parkour group back in a day. And uh, I was the worst one out of the group with the parkour. Uh, those are trying to do back flips, front flips, side flips, 360s and other type of uh, flips with their body. And I was not able to do that. And that was the reason why I started to take in a camera out. And it was the first interaction me with camera because they needed a video because they were good and I was not. I, you know how I mean it. 
So I decided to take a camera and take the opportunity to learn how to make videos for them. And that's uh, some type of a... Uh, being part of Jesus Alcupin led me to write my own stories. Wow. Wow. Yeah. It's It, it has some... Uh, it. I've heard open door. Yeah. It has impact on your lives. Definitely. I did it uh, for like five years or maybe more. We were successful so many times successful that will change you and it makes me extrovert and person who likes to talk and that's literally how I get into camera because I was doing also that uh, Parker thing and then I realized that I like to be behind camera more than in front of camera and it was like a uh, waterfall it just takes me out and I loved it since today and it is got me <laughs> This is weird. But I saw your face on your Insta story. Someone handmade it for you. It was 3D printed, actually. 3D, 3D printed and painted. The worst thing is that I don't have an idea what it is. So this is from Ethan Hawke movie, The Black Phone. Okay. And this mask actually has several parts. And they detach. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Low budget superhero. <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> That's a good costume, I would say. Yeah, I mean it's amazing. <laughs> What <man>. a superhero <laughs> movie! <here. laughs> I'm Daredevil. Oh, and the camera. camera is out. <laughs> the camera got scared, guys. <laughs> Somebody tell the camera that it's okay. Sorry for the sound of water. Ah, See, what a picture! We have a secondary camera to yeah. look at. While the other one chills. Yeah. Okay, should be okay now. You've got time. Yeah, so uh was a very talented What person. What a shot. What a up close shot. Right Some, somebody uh in my Discord, Teresa. Mm -hmm. She actually does a lot of stuff with. Can I, can I just? Of course. Wow. It is very, very solid. Yeah. It just, wow. It's 3D printed and... Uh, What do you think? <laughs> like uh, Captain America or crossed with devil. <laughs> like daredevil. Oh, I yeah. see people. Are like, you look like Batman. <laughs> Black <laughs> phone was crazy. Yes. Nice. But actually, I don't know if you guys seen Smile. Go watch Smile. Smile's a good movie. And actually... It's a new in cinemas now. Am I right? You know how important the podcast was today. It was so important that I missed a pred premierka, which I never do. Of what? Oh, there's a scary movie that came out today. I don't, I don't know what the name of it is. I don't know. Also, but I have to tell you, I mm -hmm. went to Black Adam the day before our podcast had to and? happen, and uh, I wanted to talk about it because I was ready to have this topic. So tell me. I don't have to. You didn't like it. I liked it, but. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you just uh, hide us. Uh, it's a Black Adam. It's a DC movie. Uh, it's an introduction to a new. Uh, avatar new character i think it was a lot of lost potential let me just come here i just can uh, go a little bit yeah, make room. Uh, <clears throat> lost potential i don't know you think so yeah because i think that what really annoyed me was the superheroes that were trying to work with him without giving spoilers right In, this would be probably a problem without spoilers yes yeah, so up on you. so We'll discuss it for the on Instagram, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> in, the, in the comments. Or maybe this podcast number two, which I believe uh, will be one day. Of course, every everybody will have a second chance. I don't know <laughs> who will actually return. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, maybe I will make uh, something with you. By and my, and my this project. is this is what I was getting at before. So can you tell our audience? Yeah. What is it that you have planned for us? Uh, No, I'm not going. I'm just going to do this easy. easy. Not now. That was easy. Well, guys, so I guess you guys won't know what's going to happen. But but beautiful thing is that while you were changing, I told them how I get into the camera thing. So very fast. Oh, we have got a visitor here. Who, who is here? Charlie. He likes being on the podcast. Oh, hello, beauty. <laughs> so for you guys... <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have Charlie. Such a beautiful baby. Oh. <laughs> yes. He wants to be famous. 
Yeah, he's nice. He wants to be famous. He so. deserves his own Instagram. Hi. He does, but I'm too lazy to oh. take daily pictures of him. So. Oh, yeah. Charlie. He's a big cat. Go be famous outside. Oh, you think that's a big cat? You haven't seen Milo. Milo is bigger. <laughs> Milo is bigger. Oh, boy. He can chill here. He will just try to get in front of the camera. Krasny, uh, So uh, after this uh, theater thing and moder- uh, and things, I decided and I realized that I love my voice and work with my voice and this thing. So I started to be more extrovert. I believed in myself a little bit more because of the successes and everything. And then I, uh, wo- we wa- we had an, uh, uh, a team of guys. We were doing a parkour back to the day. And they were doing front flips, back flips, side flips and things. And I was the first one of them. And I decided to take a camera and make videos of them. Oh, wow. Because I wanted to be like the best uh, in whatever I do. That's why I learned how to cut videos and things. That's how I get into whole uh, camera stuff. And since then, I love it. I just improve, I think, every day. And I believe it will be uh, uh, continuing. How is it that you manage to like your voice? Because I think most people hate i hate the sound of my voice yeah but it is about uh, accepting yourself you know h- how i can change something that is already in me but how can i accept myself when s- when i'm so shkaredy look at this <laughs> but i I'm, i'm not talking about shkaredy I okay don't, i don't speak about uh your in your uh, how to say it physical appearance uh, physical appearance and things i said how you accept yourself here yeah If you think you are beautiful and everyone can think you are shkaredi. Yeah. But if you love yourself, that is the point. What a motivational speak here. Yeah. It is about accepting. I am These a These are tough lessons. Yeah, I'm short guy and the best thing that I can do is not cry to my pillow on my bed. It's to accept it and make fun of it and just to be it. What's your height? Uh 170, I would say 1. 171. 171. So A big I, ass freaking guy. I, actually, that's not so small. Not so small, but uh, you know, Hobbit. You know what is the what is the saddest thing? What? For me, that I'm 169. So you're smaller. Yes, but, but you've got nice numbers. But imagine that the difference between 170 and 169 is nothing. But once 169, you're a midget. <laughs> 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 like literally. Yeah. And he's standing right on his feet because he he has a stairs here, so yeah. he just go down on <laughs> so yeah that that is the the most tragic thing. We are getting close to the two hour mark, actually, we surpassed oh. it already wow um I'm wow, that's so nice. I'm sorry for keeping you this long. it's been it's okay, very entertaining it's okay, I'm going to train at uh twenty three p.m. so 11 p.m. so well, I've got you, time you are not driving okay. no i'm 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 not driving because I went to school today so we can maybe we can do something after this yeah we can and, and we can also go with philip because philip he's probably Jesse, waiting Jesse. on me somewhere yeah we can we can talk to philip um and and actually i was just such a horrible day because i had to to get this dye in my blood yeah you know, and what was that about I, we all see yeah so you guys saw the story. picture and i'm gonna tell you the story now yeah say so uh, because of uh i'm a diabetic So okay because of diabetes you need to check your eyes right because there could be some issues and one issue that diabetics face is uh, hemorrhages in the eyes so little blood spots that you can't see but they are there mm-hmm. and those can become bad and you could have a lot of issues with them so i got sent to specialist in Proker Petliarska for laser correction Yeah. So they were supposed to fix them. But when I got there, the lady's like, no, 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 no. You cannot go for laser correction. You need to have this special procedure where we put this dye, this color into you. And then your blood will be radioactive yellow. It's crazy. <laughs> so. Mm. But it will not make any harm to you. No, but I'm afraid of needles. So <laughs> I was white there. Face, white face. <laughs> I, was, I was sitting in front of the thing. Look. And you know you have to put your chin to the front, right? Mm-hmm. And your forehead, your chel- cello you. here. And you're like this. And I just see in, uh, on the corner of my eye, like, they start to put the liquid in. And this was me, literally. And Mr. Gonzalez, are you feeling all right? 
<laughs> Buzz out right I, now. Immediately, I had like four nurses, like every sestrichka. And I actually, I've never seen a sestrichka be nice, except this time. I even had one that was rubbing my back. And, <laughs> and like, are you okay? Because I think that they are this. There could be a lot of uh, really bad reactions to this mm-hmm. dye. So they were scared that I was having an allergic reaction. <laughs> I was like, no, I was just being He's a pussy. dying pus- right here. I was just being what a pussy. And he was like, <laughs> she was like, mm, this is what we do. So after a while, I was like, okay, I, what can I do? But now I'm peeing yellow. Like when I pee, it's literally yellow pee, like neon yellow. So it goes through your oblichki and then just out you of your blood. The pee peak and then you... Are being yellow. Thanks for biology class here. So it's it's horrible. It's horrible. It's Ooh, weird. It's weird. And with that story, we're gonna get to the last part of the podcast. And okay. Look, Charlie's having a good time here. He's vibing. Yeah. Uh, we can change the camera probably. Uh, you Is think it it's okay? It's working already. I don't know. May or may not be. Oh. Yeah, probably just needed a break. Yeah. Camera's been working hard. She chilled. A little bit. Um, so the last part of the podcast is just you giving your goodbye message. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. I, I did so many goodbye messages via the podcast. The first thing is that we can go with Philip some to get some pizza or something. We if, will. If I'm you hungry. want to. I'm hungry. Yeah. So you will, uh, it's just your chance to plug. So how can we find you? What are your handles? Uh, what uh, kind of business do you do where... If people are interested in your work. Okay. And also if you can give people one of those life messages. Okay. Uh, that you give. So uh, my work is. Uh, all you. All me. All yeah. Uh, my work is basically to do everything about your brand. So from naming, taking brand codes, uh, making your identity, colors, logo, everything via visual with uh, all of the Instagram and social media stuff put there. Photos graphic design i said it uh, videos also everything and also web design and uh, design uh, and uh, webs itself this is what i do this is about content creation and also about beautiful speaking with a good a good host of this podcast miguel i'm glad to be here in this uh, in this rabbit hole of every gamer this is so good to be here it's so beautiful place such a beautiful place and what i want to say do what you love to do do whatever it takes to do what you want because if i do what i did uh i'm here and i love what i do it's i can change topic every day because i do s- uh, bigger let's say uh the scope is bigger and i loved it and uh, you have to do whatever you want because it is your life you are going to live it to the fullest and till the end And it is only you that will be at the end of uh, the day in the bed with you. Yeah, maybe someone else, but it is you with you. And you have to make yourself most comfortable that you can. Just be you. Feel free to do whatever you want. And uh, don't let anybody to fool you. You are special and you can be whatever you want. You do you, girl. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much for the wise words. And yes, it's been a pleasure. I apologize that we had to reschedule. It's okay. You know, there were unforeseen circumstances, but I'm glad that you were able to to come in. At, I wanted uh, to. It's nice. You just gave me the the reason and I was like, this is this is tough. Let's thank, go. Thank you for the best gifts that we got in the podcast and remember, did you remind the people how they can win this limited no. edition? There won't be any more of these. Uh people Miguel posted a post on his Instagram. It's it's a picture of me and him. And if you write something in the comments right now, the I most the nicest it, comment is it going to the <coughs> nicest comment whatever, you know, whatever you feel about this podcast, it is for the the real deal, the OGs that are here in this podcast this evening. That's why this story because you are not supposed to comment uh The, the the post if you see it but if you are here and you know that this is a uh, competition you can win it so go to uh, something panglitsky instagram last picture with me and miguel comment something beautiful there and we will just uh find out who is the best and uh you will win the prize 
Amigwell will send it to you or hand it to you, to you right in the Depends on if they live in Bratislava. Bratislava. Or in Trenčín, I can give it to you also. That sounds good, guys. So, once again, thank you for coming. Thank, thank you for, for having me. Thank you for being me. a part of uh, something po anglitsky history. Guys, next week we will have a new podcast. So make sure that you're here. Uh, make sure that you subscribe, people. And for the people listening on Spotify... Have a look at the show on YouTube and come support it because that's how we get the episodes on Spotify. Um, once again, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Miguel. Thank you for and having me. And see you guys next week. Make sure you join the Discord. And thank you for having two hours of our voices. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.